dreamed I was diving on a wreck. There were hundreds of small fish shimmering everywhere. Like a bait ball or disco ball, they kept changing their shape. I'm told they were called silver sides, like shapeshifters in a science fiction thriller that got carried away in the special effects department. I wondered if they did it for their own amusement. Did they have an awareness of themselves as one throbbing mass of reflection, like broken shards of the same mirror, blues and greens and grays? They heave like a huge heart beating, caught up in the frenzy of being a part of something much greater than themselves. As a group, they have strength, even like a merlin of the deep. Others leave them alone because they can't understand this mercurial undulating mass. As one, they are but a lone fish, powerless and bereft. As many, they have infinite ability through suggestion to thwart even the most hungry predator. Were they playing? Was it a mating ritual? And did they do this millions of years ago as 50 to 70 foot prehistoric sea creatures floated by giving the throbbing ball of fish a ravenous glance? The wreck lay peacefully resting, resting in the memory of its active duty just after World War II. Divers like me drift down its ghost corridors now populated with lionfish and encrusted with what looked like rust-colored underwater lichen. Once serviceable latrines, now rusted out relics. Helm, engine rooms, now dazed and useless to anyone but the sea and those that live in it. Gnarled, twisted pieces of her bony remains lunge for my hoses as I float by, calmly, and patiently, I undo myself from the metal that still hasn't quite accepted that it's been decommissioned from duty. I remembered in my training that every potentially dangerous situation has an oftentimes simple solution. Breathing and remaining calm and clear thinking is my closest friend. I'm glad I chose to dive. I'd never have seen these slumbering giants of the deep blue. I'd never have seen the fish that claim its once active hull teeming with sailors as their home and playground. I'd never have experienced these historical relics as they lounge on their final vacation. I'd never have marveled at the wonders of the sea.